a pleasant hike and a horse-drawn sleigh ride, crisp fresh snow, lush forest and fairy tale winter landscapes. Temperatures dropping to minus 20. It's cold but not too cold for outdoor fun. This is Drone and Phone and today we surrender to the natural beauty of Hai Nung Jung. So welcome again to Drone and the Phone, the show where I take my trusty drone and the phone I'm filming you with to explore some of Asia's nicest outdoors adventures. This is the second day in Snowtown and today we're going to start off with a nice walk, but not just any walk because we start with the fancy electric stairs that's taking me to the start of the walk. Some people are going to use this to, to go down with their sledges. I'm going to go for a nice walk up in the mountain. Let's do it. From all the snow activities that can be done in the hills surrounding Snowtown, walking is the cheapest and simplest, but with freezing temperatures, it also provides quite a challenge to even the most experienced hiker. Dressed in three layers, including a huge village jacket and a traditional fur hat, a brisk walk soon warmed me up. Locals tell me people here enjoy the cold because it clears the head. It certainly worked for me, after a short time fighting the icy air, I was worry-free as I walked the boardwalk that takes you into the mountain. In and around the village there are no cars allowed, which keeps the snow's appearance pristine, making the walk all the more pleasant. So I made it to the top. Once you get up here, there's really a lovely view of all the hills surrounding Snowtown. Snowtown is actually the middle of a natural park, so that's why the nature is so breathtaking here. I'm gonna get down quickly before the sun sets, which is really early here, so see you later. Once back down in the village, I took an easy-going horse carriage ride along the border of the village, which covers a total area of 500 hectares. The slippery roads are great for sledges and carriages of different shape, dog sledges, seem popular, as well as people pulling each other on sleighs too. Shifting heavy stuff here is easy too, as everything just slides along. As pittoresque as it is during the day, it's after dark when the red lanterns start to shine that the town comes to life. There are plenty of excellent and diverse restaurants and trendy barbecue places. Popsicles and frozen berries are sold on the street. No freezer needed. Souvenir shops stay open until late. And if you're lucky, you'll find an outdoor party. Okay, so the day has come to an end. I had a great day. I went for a lovely walk. Um, the scenery is just stunning. It's really, really beautiful. And after it, I went for a horse uh, sledge on a cute little trip around the village. Um, I'm going to call it a day. And my equipment is also looking for some warmth. The batteries run out immediately, like constantly all the time. So it's time to, uh, to find a warm, nice place. But now, if you like this show and you never want to miss an episode, please like us on facebook.com slash drone in a phone or check all the series nicely catalogued on droneinafone.com. I'm Claudia Hintus here and this is Drone in a Phone.